On a ledge at Buckingham Palace, a Fathers for Justice protester dressed as Batman gets his message onto the front pages. The group's always been highly skilled at self-publicity, but today's story of an alleged plot to kidnap Tony Blair's five-year-old son, Leo, was a headline it didn't want. Tonight, its founder told Channel 4 News it was disbanding. I regret to say that uh, three years after starting the organisation, we're going to cease uh, all operations and bring the campaign to a close, purely on the basis of what's happened today and also what's happened on recent months with extremist elements. Reports that the plot were foiled by the police at an early stage were clearly damaging for an organisation that made its name with peaceful, even light-hearted stunts. Does Blair care, asks this banner unfurled by a Fathers for Justice campaigner on the roof of Parliament last year. In 2004, the group got inside and notoriously threw purple flower at the Prime Minister. And the year before, this was a Fathers for Justice Spider-Man on a crane beside Tower Bridge. The group hasn't managed to change the law to give divorced fathers more access to their children, but there's widespread acknowledgement that its dramatic tactics have had substantial impact. I think they've identified a national consensus which this government ignores. You know, we've, we've tried for 30 years, successive governments, to try and get it up the agenda. And I think they succeeded where we failed. The plot, if that's what it was, to target Tony Blair's own family appears to have backfired. But other campaigners are saying tonight that even with the group disbanded, the protests will go on. Andy Tai, BBC News, Downing Street.